for people watching, I'm Linz. I am a project coordinator at Launchpad, uh, part of the Launchpad team, and also work with Music Leads. Um, and I'm an artist myself. Um, and we're doing regular conversations with artists and music industry types um, to just kind of show what levels of support are out there for Yorkshire based artists and people working in music or wanting to work in music. So if you want to run a record label or anything like that as well. Um, so today we're chatting to Jacob from Green Gardens, which is really exciting. Um, really nice to have you here. Yeah, nice to be here. Thanks for having me. Not at all. It's a pleasure. Um, and yeah, so we kind of really just want to find out a little bit more about you what you guys are like as a band and the kind of support that you've had um obviously via launchpad but any other support you've had so maybe you could just start by telling people um what your band is like what you do in the band that sort of thing yeah so um i'm well yeah i'm a quarter of green gardens we're like uh art rock um yeah quartet from leeds we all met at uh, leeds conservatoire studying different things um and yeah, we, we've been going for, for about five years now um, and we've been supported by Launchpad for like the past couple of years, I think. Um, yeah. And so, yeah, we, we've just, we released a load of things, uh, realised we didn't like them, so deleted them, put some new ones <laughs> on that we, we actually like, that we thought were good. Um, that's, pretty, that's pretty brave to do that, actually. <laughs> that's quite an interesting thing to to do and to talk about as well you know to actually recognize that you you've done something that you maybe don't want to kind of carry on with was that like an actual change in direction then I think it was it was nothing too sort of harsh it, it was just so the first song we ever released um annoyingly sort of was was doing I say really well it was doing it was doing all right um so every time anyone would listen to it uh, listen to us or look us up they would listen to that um which is not not a bad thing and i know i'm, I'm not complaining but, but you know it, it was but it was well i am complaining it was <laughs> that they were, would all listen to that and it then it didn't really sync up with the rest of our stuff so when we released um a double single a couple of years ago um we just sort of thought you know fresh start it, it it was all a bit uh, t too uh, boppy indie for us, which is no bad thing. Mm. It's just not not quite what we're we're after. Um, yeah. And so yeah, it was just um, we just thought unclutter the Spotify, unclutter everything. You know, start again. I think that's actually you know that's a really brave move, and you know I think to you know just to go literally going straight in there to talking about like kind of you know, what you want to do as an artist and, and how you um, go about things like that's, you know, that's such a, a good way of saying we know who we are, or we know what we want to do. So actually, let's just kind of, you know, change what we're doing a little bit and make sure it's the right direction. Because it's very easy, I think, as an artist to kind of, whether it's yourself or feeling like something's doing well, or industry people are telling you something's really good it's quite hard it could be quite hard to um stick to your guns basically and say actually this is what we want to do so that's really interesting yeah yeah i think we, we um <laughs> yeah we, we 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 just thought this is we've kind of got to do it now um before before we get too successful <laughs> <laughs> no we just, nice. we just i like the concept yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. no not at all yeah we, we were just we were just thought the longer we leave it the more it's if we're annoyed by it now um yeah not annoyed but if it if it's starting to be an obstacle um yeah and I've, I've talked to a few people about it and they've gone don't do that <laughs> you shouldn't have done that <laughs> um but i think i think we all feel a lot better about it um so yeah, yeah. That, that's um so where were you at when you were at the point of applying for launchpad because i remember you were part of the 2019 um kind of group of launchpad supported artists so at that point, were you kind of, you know, you kind of were on board with what your artistic vision was like and, and what the kind of things you were wanting to do? Is that when, was that around that time when you were kind of changing things up a bit and, and planning, you know, and hoping to get some support from us? Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, it was, well, the end of 2019 is when we did it. So um, is when we, we sort of made that switch. So at the, at the start of, or during that year, 
um, I believe that's when we all graduated, or most of us graduated. Um, and it's that sort of step of going, right, we've kind of taken this a bit more seriously now. Um, not that we went before, but it, mm. it, was, it was just um, sort of that moment again, right, this is actually what I want to do. This is, you know, this is serious. Um, and yeah, so that, along with that came Launchpad um, and saying, if, you know, we're taking this seriously, all the, all the mentoring stuff, which, you know, has, you know, proved to be so useful. Um, it, it, everything is just, um, it, it was all focused towards where we were trying to get, um, mm. whereas before we were kind of quite happily bumbling about and doing this and that, but um, sort yeah. of gigging here and there and just having a bit of fun with it. But then as soon as you're yeah. going, right, I've got to run sort of real like convincing um, campaigns and uh, promo campaigns and all the, like all that stuff. It's um, yeah. It's, it's you like, actually I do need help with this because um, mm. I don't, I don't know. I, don't, I can't yeah. do it on my own. Yeah. And, and that's, that's, yeah, that's really important to just acknowledge, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. I think, I think it's, as much as nice as it is and as, as stubborn as you can get and go right i'm i'm you know i know, I know what i want to be like and you know no one can tell me anything else it's actually sort of backing down a bit and, and feeling um listening to people has been something which is well yeah it's just it's proved to be so helpful for us i think mm, that's yeah. Really, yeah that's really good to hear and yeah i guess it's um it's sort of that thing where you like you say, you're kind of taking it a bit more seriously and trying to figure out not just the music stuff, you know? It's like, you know, if you've done that bit of development in yourself or you're, I think most artists are inclined to do the creative development, right? And yeah, the actual, yeah, yeah. the other <laughs> the other stuff is maybe where it can be a bit more like challenging or you just kind of don't think about it as much and that sort of thing. So, you know, obviously what Launchpad is, is to try and, help empower artists and music professionals to, to to do these things and actually get music out there or get projects off the ground and yeah so I think and obviously it was a little bit of a test for us because that was the first year so it's it's been a really interesting uh couple of years and to see you know like because you were one of the first artists I think to to be part of the program and then to to go on to get uh, additional support with Launchpad Plus and help musicians and things so it's, it's, I think it's really interesting to talk about that journey and how how you've managed to kind of navigate that a little bit. And, you know, I guess maybe it might be worth saying what, um, maybe what you feel like you got the most out of the, just the, the actual first part of Launchpad, like which which bits did you access? Was it, it was mentoring and was it anything else as well? So I think it was just um, the mentoring for, um at the start so when we when we released our first um ep so last year it was the mentoring um which which like helped us sort of make it quite a concise release which we we'd never really thought about before we had sort of done the whole right you know two months before let's get it all in email some people see if they fancy writing about it mm. it, it was quite uh it felt it was a bit aimless before, but having someone sort of sit down with us and um, concentrate us on, on these things was, was like, because it, it, it's not like um, we couldn't, we couldn't have done it, but it's, it's that we didn't. And it's like, it, it, it's um, ha even just having, sitting down with someone going, right, I've got, you know, a meeting at this point, I'm going to go and talk about it. And then they go, what are you doing? yeah and you go oh i don't know then it yeah and then then you go oh you know i don't actually i don't know so um, it's being held accountable isn't it it's like <laughs> yeah, yeah. you know it's that thing where you tell someone that you're going to do something and then a month later you see them again and they're like so did you do it <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah it's, like was, it's important <laughs> so yeah i feel, feel like a naughty school kid when they do that like, they're, they're, <laughs> they're like they go what what are you going to do and you go right i'm going to do this and you go they go why and you're like you know and then yeah and they're like well what you know well, what are you doing then and you yeah go, oh, it's like getting oh, yeah. getting to the roots of things isn't it getting to the root of where you're trying to get to as an art artist and also what it is that you don't know because yeah, exactly, obviously that yeah. you know you can do so much yourself you can release your own music and that wasn't that didn't used to be a possibility like when I graduated it was like 
that was just not really an existent <laughs> thing. So actually the way that, you know, like people like bands like you and, and others that we work with, like graduating and stuff into that, the music world where it's like, you can, you can do all this stuff and actually just trying to give people the tools. So it feels like that's really important, isn't it? If you feel a bit like aimless or lost, it's like you kind of need some, some tools to go back on or like, how do you go about directing people to things or why is a mailing list important and all of that kind of stuff? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think, I think with, um, it's 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 we, we we know we've sort of we were just going to sort of amble along with it anyway like we would have done it but having someone sit you Oh, I'm losing you a little bit. Oh, we've lost in a second. Ah, oh, the fun of live chats. Sorry for anybody uh, watching now. If you're watching back, you can skip this little bit. I'll try and get Jacob back. Right, let's try and get him back in. Hey, am I? Oh, wait. We are having a few issues today. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> That's all right, not to worry. Uh, um, you were just telling us, you're about to tell us about your uh, EP when you, record, you went to record in a cottage, did you say? Yeah, um, yeah, so we went to record that at, um, and then it was great and we had a really nice time. Um, and then we were like, right, let's, let's do that again because it was great. Um, and then it was just sort of going... Well, when are you free? Let, when let's do this. And we were sort of getting a bit aimless with it um, and just not really being very on top of things. And we, had, we had a meeting after we had sort of released that EP where they just sort of said, right, what are you, what are you waiting for? What are you doing? Um, and we were just sort of like, I don't know, just <laughs> they, mm. we, we were like, we, could, like, we couldn't really answer. And it's like every every moment that you're not, working hard is is a moment lost and you know it, you, if you're moving that slowly we can't really afford to release you know once every year and a half or two years because people you know it's i i wouldn't i you'd get you'd turn off for a band of, of, of like our size is mm. you've got you got to be a bit more engaging with it i think yeah it's a difficult balance isn't it it's that balance of being proactive but also not overworking yourself as well because that can be a <laughs> that can be a challenge because you could just be doing stuff 24 hours a day right and there's always yeah, stuff you could yeah. do so finding that balance of kind of learning how to be a bit more proactive or a bit more a little bit more business savvy as well because I think you know I think especially what we we enjoy and what we're trying to do with with artists like yourselves is is kind of like I said empower with knowledge and tools but also like have a little bit of that experience and learning under your belt so that if you are progressing and you end up working with a label or, or some or a team for instance you're not just handing over the reins to someone and being like right you got you just do that because actually if you're like well I know this should be being done and I know that I can release four singles every six months or I can know you know if you know that those things can happen yourself because you've made them happen then actually 
you can be like cracking the whip a little bit more on the team if you you know if you get to that point and I do think that's important because you know from from peers and people that I've worked with and seen it it can go that way where you just sort of say well we'll stay out of our our own business essentially and that (laughs) and that is like a that can be a little bit you know difficult to then navigate in terms of industry stuff so actually you know having these tools to begin with and making that plan and getting used to thinking in that way without like going so far that you don't have time to actually write and record music of course but just doing those bits does feel like really important and and of course you know you know you you're being sort of continually supported with launchpad the kind of um launchpad plus stuff which is um where we're still working with certain artists um on like releases on advice it's you know, it's still kind of having that contact with people from our teams and it. Um, yeah, so, yeah. yeah. So do you think, do you think it's valuable to have that like continued support as well as just the kind of one off, you know, program um, that we do offer? Yeah, d- definitely. I think I, it's with things are changing so fast at the moment and with a release, things change all the time. You could set out an amazing plan for the next 12 months and then the next week something could change and yeah. it would just you know it could it could a lot half that advice could be not not useless but not not relevant um yeah so i think w- with having like i've got a few people from launchpad that i can just email and or text and talk to if i'm not sure about something and it's just like it's just the the reassurance there is is because like a lot of the time it, it's we're, we're pretty much on the same page for, for you know for, for us who don't you know we're not we're not been in the industry for for ages mm. so we don't you know we, we're not always sure um, yeah. so so yeah just having that constant because it, it and it is constant like a constant support there is so yeah. is so like useful for us yeah and just out of interest do you find it helpful to speak to other artists as well or to learn about other artists journeys like you know watching back any of these sessions and that sort of thing is it is it interesting or helpful to you to also see what other people are doing and checking that out and that sort of thing yeah yeah absolutely i watched i watched a few back of these um before and it it's it's really interesting because i think we're all well we definitely are sort of making mistakes in the in in like in in a good way of just yes it's and, learning and, it's just all learning yeah, That's how yeah I think of it. it's a process <laughs> yeah totally <laughs> yeah um so yeah so if you can look at something someone's done and they go do not do that that is a terrible idea yeah and you are just about to you obviously it's different case to case but you can go oh okay you know it's it's, it's all it's all like building towards um especially with Launchpad because it's it's uh, sort of the community the West Yorkshire Le- Leeds community for us um, which is usually comes from the same place um, so I'm dealing with you know similar people or mm. from, you know a similar um, point of view at least mm. um, so yeah like talking to other people um, and just yeah engaging with people is so important as well and mm. it, it, ma- it makes like the you know the scene if you want to use that word it makes the scene feel like um just a lot tighter if if we're all talking and we're all you know hyping each other up and yeah and, yeah yeah for sure and sharing knowledge and stuff i think you know i'm personally a big believer in in sharing knowledge and not keeping things to you you know close to your chest and being people being like well how did you get that gig i'll just like just i'll just tell you you don't have to be like you know, oh, <laughs> yeah. well, it's the vague music industry <laughs> um but yeah yeah, yeah so it feels like yeah it feels important for artists and collectively to like have this knowledge like you're talking about um it might be helpful to l- let people know how you found it actually applying as well like you know are you used to kind of writing stuff did you do or i don't think at that point we did video entries but we do now do video um questions as well so there's a couple of options but how did you find it like putting together that plan or did you do it collectively or do you have kind of like a lead lead person on that side of things um yeah i'm not i'm not sure the rest of them even aware how to (laughs) how to (laughs) so yeah that'll be me um (laughs) no of course no it's it's usually i I run i run things by them um and um 
it, it's it's I feel like the, the best the thing that helped us is and it, it helps with all applications really it's just going over and over it and then I mean it's like like doing essays in school when you're like over the word count just sort of squeezing it and compressing yeah. it just Making being it concise yeah exactly yeah yeah so um I think it's lucky I didn't do video ones because I would have just babbled on. Which is, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't do video ones. I've done no, a couple of applications. One, I think I had to do a video. It was like compulsory, and I was just like, "Oh, this is weird." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But some yeah. people, it's totally natural to talk. To, you know, this is fine. It's conversation, but yeah, yeah. I think some yeah. people it is. It's a lot more um, less intimidating, you know, especially for people with accessibility needs and that sort of thing to be doing a video rather than written. Um, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think it's, uh, it's so cool. I wish I wish I could do it like that. I'd probably, I'd probably prefer to, but I think just writing, um, just just personally for me, I, I find it easier because I can edit out anything stupid. I say <laughs> a, lot, a, lot, a lot easier. But, um, yeah. yeah. So but, did you? But, but, yeah, did you have like a bit of a plan of what you wanted to do when you when you've come to apply for things like Launchpad and Help Musicians? You know, did you have kind of not just like we want to be a band, we want to do gigs, we want to make music kind of, you know, did you have a bit more like of a plan or more specifics of what you were trying to get out of things? Yeah, I, I think with both of them, we especially with the Help Musicians, just because it was later on and I've done a few more applications by that point, I think I just found it helpful just to be as specific as possible even if you're not sure because it's I think it's quite sort of unattractive to uh to people who are reading those applications to sort of mm. go we might do this we might do that but we're not sure but we still you know would love the support um whereas if you go we want to I think we're like um with the, I just I remember the help musicians one better because it wasn't too long ago. But with the help musicians, it was we went in with a with a plan of the EP, and um, uh, some like merchandise and some live dates and press. And it's like, and that that's like a very vague version of it. But it was mm -hmm. like I put in dates for a release, which you know. Or you know, I, I sort of worked out, but not. It wasn't n n like definite, but I sort yeah. of you sort of talk about them like they are definite, and then if something changes, that's fine. Um, exactly. Yeah, making that plan so it looks like it not looks like, but it shows that you're um, thinking about all those things. Like, what are the venues that you're going to be performing in, and you know, where if you're going to be recording an EP, where are you going to work? Work who? Which producers you're going to work with? You know, it's all of that kind of yeah, stuff yeah. about actually showing you've thought about it and and then it's relevant to you as well as an artist that it's not just like oh we're going to go you know we're going to go to abbey road studios or we're going to go to mono valley or something and actually it's completely out of the price bracket or whatever and just you know showing that like what it is is realistic and appropriate for your level but ambitious not to be not ambitious at all but yeah. um yeah being specific i suppose is, is yeah there. yeah like specific as you and like seeing things like costing charts like yeah. i had never even thought like dreamt of doing a costing chart for for us because it was all sort of we all pitch in and we'll try and pay as little as possible <laughs> to try yeah. and spend as little money but doing a costing chart it makes you think about things and even mm -hmm. if you're do you're doing it just to fill out a form, it means that you've thought about it, um, you know, yeah. at some point. So yeah, d even the application was like a learning process. Just going back to what like that thing we were saying of just even talking about it to someone. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, yeah. So so it, it, yeah, just be be very specific and. You know, it's fine if things change, I think. But um, yeah, I think most funders and and especially Launchpad and especially even more with the current you know circumstances and all of last year and everything i think everyone's you know fairly flexible it's more about showing your plan your ambition your direction and who you are as an artist i think that's you know that's a really important one yeah. to get across isn't it that you know who you are as artists and and what you want to do um yeah yeah you got to make make them like want to be a part of what you're doing as well as much mm. as you're sort of applying to be a part of something you know they're offering it's like mm. make them make them fall in love with you back and make 
well, obviously for us, more important than make the music good, but make you, if you can look good and all the rest, of, like, yeah. uh, speak well at the same time, yeah. like I'm trying to do right now, <laughs> <laughs> uh, then, uh, then it, then it, you know, then brilliant, like, because then they'll be, not only will they, you know, to want to talk to you and it, it like it, it will be they'll be like excited to do things for you and that's you know that that's what will get the best results I think yeah definitely and like you say just doing things more and more like each time you do an application each time you think about a plan or because you know really it's it's kind of like doing little mini plans all the time because you're just like oh actually well we're gonna what are we going to do with our next release and then you have to figure out well what do we do and how are we going to do that and there's going to be like constant planning involved because that's what that's what you know releasing music is isn't it and and yeah, get, yeah. getting out there i mean if you want to just obviously play in your bedroom that's fine too <laughs> but that's yeah not yeah what, that works that's not what we're doing um, <laughs> yeah <laughs> trying to get out yeah there, so. <laughs> yeah i've not had much luck getting out of my bedroom recently i know <laughs> been completely asleep <laughs> so, all right catch up on all the sleep and get ready for uh, I, gigs to come back yeah yeah i can't wait it's gonna be awesome so have you got anything have you got anything coming up um any releases or anything or any live streams or anything like that coming up soon yeah or anything so, to talk about <laughs> yeah um so we've just got a i'm not sure well how much i should say but that's, well, that's my song i can say it <laughs> um <laughs> Uh, yeah, we've got a single coming out in in May, um, uh, just it, which is the first of some songs we've been working on really hard for the past sort of year or so, um, and that's going to be followed by a few things. Um, we've got um, a performance at the Great Escape coming up. Um, of course, which, yeah. Yeah, we got through the help of Launchpad as well, um, which is amazing, uh, which we're really excited about. Um, so that is. Uh, around then, May. Yeah, it's mid, the, it's mid May. It's the middle weekend of May, isn't it? And yeah. it's an on it's an online version of the Great Escape, which is people that don't know. It's usually a kind of a big weekend, uh, well, week long kind of festival type thing where they have like conferences and industry meet meetups and stuff, and then loads of gigs all over the city. Um, but sadly, we can't obviously <laughs> go, but we can do yeah. some online stuff. So doing some yeah, recording yeah. And, and putting some artists out through that so yeah it's really exciting yeah um, yeah but th yeah that's that's we've got heaps of other cool stuff going on but those are the, those are the, the headlines yeah single and a, and a gig sort of a gig yeah exactly <laughs> and it's you yeah. know it's good just to keep doing stuff so you know nice one for yeah. doing doing stuff <laughs> yeah <laughs> thank you yes i needed that <laughs> yeah good um, alright well I'll go and let you enjoy some what's left of the sunshine um, I'm, I'm straight straight into a rehearsal oh nice. well, but, well yeah. you can enjoy some like, music instead then that's just as yeah good. exactly yeah it's like a gig but I have to do a bit of it <laughs> <laughs> it's like going to a gig but I need to do some but work, I have yeah. to do the work yeah <laughs> fine. cool I'm fine well thanks for speaking to us it's been really interesting and yeah have good luck with stuff and I'm sure we'll, uh, we'll we'll speak again soon at some point yeah cool nice to chat thanks for yeah. having me see you later cool. right. bye, bye.